What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to have more energy when you're out. This is a big thing that you need to get right because if you come in with low energy, you're not feeling too good, you're not putting a lot of effort into your interactions, you're not gonna be successful when you go out. Like girls aren't gonna to wanna to talk to you and people in general won't wanna be around you. And I know this could be a big challenge for, uh, for us, people like introverts that don't feel very energetic when they have to talk to people. In fact, they, they tend to feel drained um, when they go out. So I've, I hear a lot of people complaining about being tired before they go out, um, tired while they're out. And so hopefully this video will give you a lot of tips and uh, steps to be able to eliminate you being tired when you're out uh, and actually give you more energy when you go out. Like you should be feeling more energetic when you go out. Like it should be good. You should be having a great time. Um, and so if you do these things, I think you're gonna be on the right track. So the first thing that I'm gonna give you is to move around more. Now when a lot of people get into the venue or if they're going to a social event, bar, club, whatever it is, um, or maybe they're going to something else like you're talking to women during the day, a big mistake that a lot of people make is they sit, they, they go to the bar, get a drink or, or whatever it is, and then they sit down. They sit down, they don't move, and they just kind of like sip their drink and they stay there and they hope you know, something's gonna happen. Well, the longer you sit down and you're not moving, the more tired you're gonna feel, the less energy you're going to have. You need to start doing things that are gonna give you more energy. And so what I'd recommend that you do is go in there, start talking to people, start at least walking around. Um, if I'm in a bar or club or anywhere where there's music, I'll just kinda like be moving to the music too. You know, I'll be standing up, dancing, getting myself into the groove. Um, and it, you know, just by that alone, uh, I can pick my energy up a little bit if there's no one to talk to. Step number two is kind of a mindset shift, which is focus on how to talk to a girl that you, you're interested in versus should I talk to her. So a lot of people, when they go into, like, like I said, a social event and they see a cute girl or whatever it is, they spend so long thinking about should I do it, should I not do it, am I being a pussy, am I being needy, is she not going to like me? All of these thoughts are wasting your energy. Like your willpower is finite. And they, they, they talk a lot about this in, in RSD and Owen especially. Um, your willpower is finite and if you spend it doing things that you're not, go that aren't going to help you, you're wasting it. So you should be spending time thinking about like, um, like how should I go up and talk to this girl? I'll give you an example. Like if I walk in and I see like, you know, the only group of girls in, in the place is like this giant group where they're all kind of all huddled together. This is like probably one of the hardest groups to start talking to or the, one of the hardest situations to start a conversation with. But it's, rather than me thinking about, should I go up and talk to them? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna be like a good thing for me to do that? I, I know that they're the only group of girls in there, so now what I'm thinking about is how can I do it? Can I stand nearby them and wait for one of them to kind of like branch off a little bit? Maybe I could talk to her then one-on-one, -on -one. Um, or, or maybe I could just like go be around them and like start talking really loudly and see which of them kind of starts to turn. You know, I'm thinking about how as opposed to should I? And if you spend time thinking about those sorts of things, you're gonna have a lot more energy um, and you're not gonna feel drained before you even go up and talk to that person. Number three is to drink more water, not more alcohol, okay? When you're out, I, actually, I don't mind if people drink alcohol, that's fine, but don't drink too much. And don't drink way too much before you go out too, because a lot of the guys that are, you guys are getting drunk like I used to <laughs> before I went out, um, that you're gonna be really exhausted and tired by, by the time midnight rolls around, which is the most important time. That's when people start pairing up, is around that time. So if you get smashed at like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. walking in there, like the next two hours you're probably gonna drink more to keep it going, and then you're gonna feel pretty freaking exhausted and drunk and sloppy by midnight. You're gonna feel tired. Drink a lot more water at the beginning, that way you're feeling hydrated. Even if you're slightly dehydrated, which alcohol makes you dehydrated, you're gonna feel more tired. So I would be drinking water throughout the night. Make sure you're not drinking too many uh, alcoholic beverages. And you know, what I think too is that if you're gonna use like caffeine and drugs and that sort of stuff, um, you gotta be really careful with that because it can be bad later on. Like once you start using that, if you're dependent upon those types of things to stay awake, do these things, you're gonna be more coherent and you're gonna be, you're gonna be feeling a lot better. These natural remedies are gonna be far, uh, far better than, uh, than using, using uh, drugs and alcohol, which you know, in the long run is probably better for your health anyway. Step number four is don't pretend to be someone that you're not. If you're not the kind of person to um, you know, shout really loud things and dance around like a monkey, you know, don't do it, okay? 
One thing that I do, and this is a very relevant example, is if I'm feeling tired before I go out, which does happen, I do feel tired a lot of times before I go out, but I still do it because I know the things that I need to do to bring myself back up. And a lot of you guys are, you know, use it as an excuse to, to not take action, which is you're never gonna be successful if you don't go out. So if I'm feeling tired before I go out, I rock that shit, you know? <laughs> like if I'm talking to a girl, she's like, how are you? I'm like, oh, dude, I'm like such a zombie right now. The fact that I'm talking to you right now is a complete miracle. <laughs> and then, you know, by me being like, oh, I'm tired, like I'm this tired person. How are you? How's it going? And you know, like doing that, Ironically, it sounds really silly, but it's better that I do that than I try and fake like I'm high energy and you know jump around and do all that sort of stuff because if I force myself, I'm going to feel even more tired because it takes more energy to force yourself to do something that you don't want to do than to just be yourself. And sometimes a lot of uh, you know a lot of the time when I'm talking to a girl and I'm I'm in that tired mode, she'll be like, oh, well, let's find some stuff to make you more energetic, or you know, we'll come up with a game where you know we can we can use to try and get me to have more energy. You know, usually involves us going around, maybe uh, you know talking to different people, or maybe her touching me would probably get me more excited. <laughs> Step five is talk to people that you know are gonna give you a good reaction or you know people that have the right energy you're looking for. If I first walk into the venue and I start talking to basically like the hottest girl there and she's really low energy, she's like kind of just talking to her friends, they ignore me and I'm spending so much time trying to get this girl interested, I'm wasting so much valuable energy that I could be spending with someone else that's gonna give me more energy. So after that conversation, I'm probably gonna feel drained, I'm probably gonna not wanna talk to that next person. But if I chose another group of girls that you know maybe I might not be as attracted to, or maybe even a group of guys, I might not necessarily be trying to have sex with them, but I go up, I talk with them, and um, they're really fun, super high energy, really cool people. Now I'm feeling more high energy. Now I'm feeling better, more positive, more enthusiastic. All of these things are attractive qualities, so when that hot girl does come around that I am interested in, that I do wanna sleep with, um, I'm feeling really good, and I'm way more of an attractive person at that point in time, whereas before, I just wasted all that energy and an opportunity that wasn't there. I made myself feel drained and I didn't open myself up to the opportunity to meet somebody later. Pay attention to who you talk to. Try and find someone that's gonna give you a good reaction, good energy. And the final step is step number six, which is stop judging yourself. Guys, this is so huge. If I go up, like let's say I make a mistake and I end up talking to a girl who's really low energy or you know she just is not interested in me, okay? That would normally make me feel drained, but if I don't judge myself and I laugh it off and I'm like, <laughs> let's see what the next girl says. You know, if I have that kind of attitude, I'm gonna be a lot more energetic and a lot more likely to go talk to somebody else. But if you judge yourself, like you go up and she's like, oh, I have a boyfriend and then kind of turns around and then you walk back thinking like, that was stupid. I can't believe I thought that would work. Like. You know, I'm a loser and you know, like I'm never gonna get good at this. Like how do you, like there's no possible way that that is going to give you more energy. Like you're, you're done, man. But if you have the kind of mentality where you're not judging yourself, you're not too hard on yourself, um, it's important for you to make a note of it and review it later and see if you could have done anything better. But while you're out, that's not the time to be doing that. The time to be doing that is to be taking action and giving yourself positive vibes, okay? Hopefully you've seen from this video that positive feelings, positive emotions are going to give you the most amount of energy. Negative emotions, th th feelings like I'm not good enough, feeling scared, feeling anxious, being angry, all of these types of, well anger in some ways can give you more energy. Um, but if you're feeling more excited, if you're feeling happy, if you're feeling humorous, if you're feeling like um, uh, you know joyous, like all of these things, they're gonna give you more energy. Being able to shift and turn things into a positive light, seeing the positive sides of things is gonna give you vastly more energy than thinking about the negative. So stop judging yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself when you're out. Look, man, even I go out and girls shoot me down. It does, it's not a big deal. It's not something that you should hold against yourself. What you should hold against yourself is if you don't take action, you don't do anything, and you sit around and stand there without you know, even trying. So. Um, that's the kind of thing that you should beat yourself up for. 
okay? So uh, basically those are all my tips, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Uh, if you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, shoot me an email of us, singleguy2017 at gmail.com. Um, and just based on the way my channel and my business is growing, uh, I'm actually gonna start looking for an assistant soon. So if you're interested in that, you wanna travel around the world, have sex with a bunch of girls and help me out and build your own influence, uh, this would be the place to do it. So thanks a lot, you guys, um, and good luck out there.